Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In previous video, we have designed add employee form, right? And we were able to get a form data in a save employee method. For example, if you go back to this page and click on add employee button, we are getting add employee page with this form. And let's say if I enter first name, last name, and email. And if I hit submit, then there we go. We are getting the form data in a save employee method, right? Now what we'll do, we'll make a REST API call and we'll send this form data to the REST API and REST API internally store this data to the database. Alright, so let's jump into Visual Studio Code ID. So let's head over to the employee service class and within this class we are going to create one more method just go after get all employees and create one more method let's say create employee and let's pass one one object that is employee object as a method argument okay and just return the prom promise object of auxios method so you're gonna call here auxios and we are making a post http request so let's call post method here and just pass post argument as REST API URL, second argument as employee object. So basically employee object contains a form data. Okay, great. So this will make a REST API call and uh, it will send employee form data to the REST API. REST API internally store this form data into a database. Perfect. Now we are going to use this create employee method in add employee component. So head over to add employee component, head over to save employee method. And here, let me just remove this console.log and here just call employee service and call create employee method and just pass employee object to it and then it returns promise so call then method and then have a response object here okay and here we are going to use arrow function to handle the response perfect and here we can also use catch to catch the error okay uh, this one error and here use arrow function and i'm going to just log the error error okay perfect all right so after submitting the form users should be able to navigate to list employees page right for that we need a navigator over here so in react we can use a history object for navigation purpose okay as we are using react hooks so there is a one more hook called use history hook so we can use use history hook to get an instance of history object and once we get a history object we can use history object for navigation purpose okay so let me import first the use history hook here at the top import from so we can get a use history hook from a react router dom okay import within a curly basis we're gonna call use history hook so here i just have a constant and then i have a variable history and then i can use here use history hook so use history hook return this object now i have a history object i can use this history object to navigate to the list employees page so just call push method and then just push the url that is employees and refresh one more time and just add first name ramesh last name padatare email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com hit submit and there we go uh, ramesh employee successfully added so there is already existing uh, employee with the same name so let me add a different name like this let's say John Cena and then John at the rate gmail.com okay and hit submit button and there we go John employee successfully added so let me add one more employee let's say Tom Cruz and let's say Tom at the rate gmail.com and you can able to see Tom employee successfully added to the employee list page Alright, and here you can see 
if user don't want to submit the form then user should have here a cancel button right we should have a cancel button here and user once click on cancel he should navigate to list employee page so for that what i will do i will add a cancel button to this form quickly so let me head over to vs code id and just go down and just after the button submit button we are going to have a link here let's say link and then to and we should navigate to list employees page for that this is the router link and then let's have a css class something like button button danger and let's give name to this button like cancel and save the file and let's go back to browser and here you can see cancel button okay so once user click on cancel it should navigate to the list employees page all right guys we have successfully i uh, know implemented add employee functionality in next video we'll create a couple of rest apis and then we'll implement update employee functionality all right i will see you in the next video